let's show you how to bring tour files into the new Google Earth for Chrome. So go to earth.google.com, click on the blue launch Google Earth button to launch Google Earth. Once that loads up in your web, you're going to head up to the upper left and click on the menu icon, the familiar Google menu icon. Click on that and scroll down to you see settings. Click there. Now scroll all the way to the bottom of settings and click the toggle to enable KML file import. A KML file is a native Google Earth file. Click on the bookmark icon to open up My Places and you see where it says import KML file and you can choose from opening a file from your computer or from your Google Drive. So let's show you where to find these files. We're going to search for them in Google. I'm going to search in for American Revolution but I'm going to add a particular modifier to my search. I'm going to look for a particular file type and that is KML, those files that Google Earth can open. And you'll see when I get my search results in brackets next to the link it says KML. I know that that is a KML file and clicking on it will download that KML file to my computer. Now another file type is KMZ. It works the same way. If I go back to Google Earth and choose open file I can find that KMZ file that I downloaded. Click on it click open and now that's going to load up some place marks and bookmarks and information as a layer inside of Google Earth. And now if I open that little folder up and double click on the locations, it flies me right in. If I click on the little eye in the circle, the information icon, that's going to bring a pop-up that has information on this particular location and images that go along with it. And I can fly from location to location just by double clicking on the name of the location uh, in the list on the left. And I can click on that information icon to get information on that particular area that I am flying to. Now the eyeball icon actually blocks a location from view. So if you wanted to hide one of these places, you could. Now you can save these places to your places, clicking on the blue save button and allow. We'll kind of attach it to this instance of Google Earth. You can also create your own digital tour of places by searching for your starting point. So click on the little search icon in the upper left, search for the place you'd like your tour to start. It's going to fly you to that location. Once you land there, click on the actual marker point and then click on the bookmark icon. And that's going to add that place to your list of places. So you can do that for as many places as you'd like. You can add as many to that list of bookmarks as you'd like. Just refresh the search bar, clear out the search bar, and search for the next spot that you want to take your virtual tour to. I'm going to use this for art museums, so I'm going to go with the Met in New York. That'll be the next place that I pull up. And as soon as my Google Earth flies me to that spot, I'm going to repeat the exact same process I used before. Click on the little bookmark icon, and that's going to add some uh, uh, that location to my list of places. Because Google is learning all the time, there's also a People Also Explore tab underneath the pop-ups of each location. Clicking on that allows you to actually scroll through a list of suggestions that Google has for you based on your search. So you can go through and find, I'm finding other art museums that are just associated with the Met in that area. And of course it's going to find other places in New York too because it's thinking, well, I just want to explore New York. But if you can't exactly find what you're looking for, head back to the search icon and search for the exact spot. So I'm going to do Albright Knox, a little bit of a local flair with this one. Fly out to Albright Knox, click on the little bookmark icon to add it to my list of places. And now let's look at some of the things you can do with those actual places while you're there. Clicking on 2D or 3D, a toggle back and forth with your 2D and 3D views. Clicking on the little person icon will open up Street View. And that way you can click on any of these little blue bubbles or uh, blue street pathways and actually fly in to the street level of each um, location and you can use your cursor, your mouse, to kind of grab and pull yourself around so you can look in 360 degrees at the place that you're visiting. Pretty neat. Clicking on the little person icon one more time takes you back up to the default view of Google Earth out of Street View and then we're going to go back to the My Places uh, tab to talk about how to actually share some of these things with your students. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to export this list of new bookmarks we made as a KML file. We're going to click the blue save button, click on the list of bookmarks, click the little menu icon and export as KML. That's going to download that file for us. And then we're going to go to Google Classroom and we're going to post a link to that file as an assignment inside of Google Classroom. We're going to create our assignment. We're going to click on the uh, paperclip icon to upload a file. We're going to select files from our computer, and we're going to choose our bookmarks.kml file and click open. And I'm actually going to add another file, the American Revolution one that we opened before. I'm going to attach that too because you can do that. Any KMZ or KML file, you can do the same thing. You can share that file like anything else. I'm also going to add a web link 
to Google Earth's website too, so that my students can click on that link first, and then they can follow the same process I did to be able to open those KML files. So it's going to take a little bit of time for you to show them how to do that the first time, but they should get used to it every successive time after. Click the blue assign button and that's going to send that post right to the top of your student's stream so they can click on that Google Earth link and then open up those tour files.